How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you can hear my voice, I am really, really ill. This will probably potentially be my last video for a few days. I just need to try and get better. But some big news from PlayStation Camp came out and I wanted to talk about it. There's some Xbox news as well. And I really want to try and get that out tomorrow, especially the Blizzard situation. So if I can muster some strength for that, I will. But this here is actually pretty big. So some time ago, it was revealed that, you know, Connie Booth was removed from the company, whether she was let go or she was fired or she was, you know, she re resigned herself. And this is going to be a one take video. So my voice may go in and out in a weird way. It is what it is. I really don't have time to edit this video. I just want to get it out there. So I do hope you appreciate it. And I am sorry for any mistakes that come along the way. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And, you know, I do enjoy making these videos, which is why I'm, even in this state, putting the effort in to get it out there. So, it seems Connie Booth was actually not let go. She was indeed fired. Now, there is an actual reason for this, and it all stems back to uh, the actual gas games from Sony and the ones that Jim Ryan actually wanted to double down on to release. And it seems after Jim Ryan stepped down, well, she was the first one to get the boot because all the blame basically went on her and she was actually fired. I, you know, agree with Jeffy. Microsoft, Phil Spencer, if you're watching, pick her up. She is actually a really good talent and can help the Xbox brand in a really good way. Sean Layden was apparently escorted out of the building when he was let go as well. So he wasn't actually, it wasn't a mutual separation. He was pushed out as well. And as we can see here, Jim Ryan was convinced that gas was the future and told PlayStation First Party Studios to start making them. And a whole bunch of them apparently were upset. PlayStation Studios were unhappy about this decision or this direction because they just wanted to make the games that they know how to make. The first, you know, the single player story driven cinematic experiences. They didn't want to go into any of these like Destiny type live service games. They don't really know anything about it. And as far as they're concerned, they don't. And with the cancellation of factions, that made a lot of PlayStation Studios even more upset, causing apparently turmoil. Between that and the gas direction, Sony blamed it all on Connie Booth and fired her because she was the number one scapegoat because Jim Ryan wasn't there. So. They kindly asked Jim Ryan to leave, so it wouldn't affect the stock exchange. They basically said, you steered us into this, because apparently development was split 60% gas, 40% single uh, player games. And obviously they weren't happy with this, so they kindly asked Jim Ryan to piss off, so he left, and then they said, right, we actually need a scapegoat now. We need someone that can take the full brunt, and we can fire, and we can make it clear. And Connie Booth was that person. It just goes to show, she devoted 24 years of her life to the company. She's actually been delivering some of the most highest profile games. And in the end, because they needed a high profile scapegoat, or a low profile scapegoat, I guess, because according to PlayStation fans, no one's heard of Connie Booth. Well, she was the first one to go because they thought it would go under the rug and no one would care. Well, PlayStation fans didn't care. He says the vast majority of people who worked under Connie are gone, and it seems they left at the same time she did. So whether they were also asked to leave, or they pretty much said, you know what, if you're going to treat her like this, we're out as well, is unknown. But with them kind, kind of restructuring away from gas games again, at least that's what it looks like, well, it looks like uh, people that were working under her, or because she was basically dealing with... Uh, I think it was Raven or Haven, uh, the live service game. She was basically overseeing that as one of the, her projects. Her team basically just up and was just removed entirely. Angie Smets is awesome. No negative things to say about her. Apparently, Herman Holst was in big favor of cutting all of the Japanese studios. Jeffy's contact wasn't a big fan of Herman. Now, obviously, there's a lot of weight on these statements. It's not just coming out from a, you know, unreliable source. Jeffy is doing his due diligence and making sure that the information he's getting is actually reliable. But this is pretty awful from Sony, how 
you know, they let Jim Ryan do what he wanted, get to where he wanted, and then they realized that live service isn't the way for them. Cancelling factions is officially cancelled now. Uh, it, that put on ice where people would say, they can revisit it. They're not going to revisit it. It's gone. Um, and apparently the studios are in turmoil. They can't focus, function at the moment because of all the drama that's going around with the gas and they don't want to do any gas. And I can understand them not wanting to do gas, but at the end of the day, live service games bring a lot of money. And that is what Sony needs, right? Sony needs a lot of money. These one and done games like Spider-Man, Last of Us, like The Last of Us 2, I don't even think it broke even, according to Jim Ryan. It, they didn't recover the money they made on it. So they need other stuff around it to make it sell, to make up that money. Otherwise, they can't invest in these games. The thing that actually back then uh, supported games like The Last of Us was the sales from COD. The money that came in from COD funded these uh, games that was releasing on PlayStation. So I guess that's one of the reasons why they were so frantic about making sure COD remained on PlayStation because they needed that funding. But what Jim Ryan was trying to do was bring in multiple avenues of farming. And uh, I guess the brass didn't like it. I do wonder how they feel about, uh, you know, Bungie because they paid 3.6 billion for it. And I don't think they've actually got anything in return yet. We haven't seen any marketing in terms of, you know, actual like uh, TV series or animated series or anything really. So... What has Bungie, the 3.6 billion, actually done for them? I really want to know. And in all, in all fairness, when we're talking about Destiny 2, the only studio that actually did something that was, you know, good was Vicarious Visions. And they're owned by Activision, who are now owned by Microsoft. So even the best parts of Bungie for Destiny 2 are now owned by Microsoft. So that is all I'll say. But that's going to be the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. There is other, another video I want to try and get out tomorrow, but it really depends how I feel. If I feel any worse than I am now, I'm just going to 86 it and then uh, just wait until I'm better and then release it then because uh, you can hear from my voice. I'm really, really. So with that said, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey, Legend.